It was great. And then I could meet with the rest of my family whenever I wanted. That was wonderful. Yes, mixing the two, the black and the white side. That was always interesting. Because culturally, they're very different, you know. You have to learn small things about other side. Very small things that throw you off. Like, for instance, on the white side of the family, imagination was encouraged, you know. It was something that they always said. They always said to me, Trevor, let your imagination run wild. <laughs> the sky's the limit. You can imagine beyond, beyond your furthest and wildest dreams. Just imagine, be free. And I was there and I was like, wow, really? I can imagine anything? They were like, yes. And I said, well, I'm gonna take it there. I got myself an imaginary friend. He's about nine years old. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, I had one of those imaginary friends. I called him Andrew. Great guy, really cool guy. We hung out all the time, we went out, we played together. We even went to my dad's house, you know. My dad would open the door, ah, oh, Trevi, come in, come in, come in. Be like, oh, dad, don't be rude, greet my friend. Be like, oh, where is he? He's right here next to me. He's like, I don't see anyone. I was like, oh, that's because he's invisible. He's my imaginary friend. He's like, oh, okay. What is his name? He's like, Andrew. Oh, how are you, Andrew? I was like, no, he's left-handed. How are you, Andrew? <laughs> Andrew came in and he prepared two plates of food for us. He set everything up. It was wonderful, wonderful affair. Yes. I took Andrew to my grandmother's house only once. <laughs> only once. I'll never forget that day. Walked in all confident. There I was. Yeah, you know, Andrew, that's, that's really how I feel about the economy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just because we had like very deep conversations. Yeah. I don't know, Andrew. I mean, we get along and we different color skin. I mean, it's very cool, you know. We went, got to my grand's house. There were kitchen door, you know. And knock, cook, 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 cook. And my grand was like, come in. And she opened the top of the door and I opened the bottom, you know, because it was those two-piece doors at the kitchen. <laughs> opened the bottom. And I opened it, I walked in and I was like, hello, Coco. And she was like, hello, Tanam. And then she closed the door and I was like, whoa, Coco, wait. Andrew. And she was like, oh, sorry, Tanam, sorry. Where is he? And I was like, oh, he's here. She's like, you? Whoopi. <laughs> and the morning, I'm done as. I was like, no, Gogo, you can't see him. He's invisible. She's like, yeah, and Tony? I was like, he's invisible. He's my imaginary friend. She's like, what's that? <laughs> like, it means only I can see him. He's in my mind. She's like, yeah? In your mind. He's like, yes, Gogo. She's like, hmm, okay. In your mind, right? Imagine, imagine. Coco, what are you doing? Coco, it's so, it's so. She was like, hey, imagine, it's not so. Just imagine, imagine, when, imagine, Tarat, Alain Dinam, hey, imagine. Ah, Coco, like Andrew, help. She was like, Nalo Andrew, Aho, Nalo Andrew. Andrew was traumatized. Never came back. <laughs> 